su je sam mindset, a ono što bih ja želela najviše, kao što svi znate, je to da upalite kamere. Znači, da se svi vidimo. Please, guys, open your cameras. I wanted to see you, everyone, because energy is must, must important. Because I wanted to see you. I see ladies too much. We have ladies tonight. Okay, okay. And I wanted to say, because we have an amazing guest, and I wanted to share with all body, uh, call your teams, call everybody, because everybody is wanted to be in this call because tonight we have amazing amazing guy uh, who is uh, for me uh, like a mentor i don't uh, prepare it in the, his line i think uh, that understand me everybody and i wanted to say kiani are you here my brother are you here are you see let me see. yes 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 can you hear me yes i see you but i don't I hear you, but I don't see you. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's, let's see. Go, let's go. There we go, there we go. You see me? Yes, I see you. I want to thank you so much for having you here in the call. Uh, we in the Serbia now it's night. We are everybody is going to sleep, but we are here waiting for you for your training. And I'm so happy and grateful for having you here because you have too many values tonight to share with us. And we going live up with your training. <laughs> hey, hey guys! You know I'm super super excited. Um, you guys, first and foremost, you know, could we give it up to your incredible leader? Um. Miss Ristic, right? Um, for just being just a phenomenal leader, right? Bringing you guys, right? Value, getting you guys connected to other people that you know may be able to raise your guys' belief, right? Maybe be able to teach you something um, that can really help a lot of you guys elevate and get to the next level. So if we could do a favor and drop some sevens in the chat box um, for your amazing leader, um, you know, it's crazy because you know I'm I do a lot of the calls working with Live by Design. Um, if any of you guys are not on my story, I'm going to go into my story um, in just a moment. But, you know, um, we had got connected on Instagram just for, from her being, you know, continuously, you know, always looking to grow, being on the calls, right? Being in the comment section, reaching out after the calls, right? Asking questions, you know, just really trying to figure out how she can just elevate herself to really be able to elevate your guys' collective. And so, guys, I really want you to be honorable, right, when you have leadership like that, because, you know, that means that they're not done growing, which means what for you? That the collective will naturally continue to grow, continue to change, continue to develop, right? And attract the right people into your guys' business so that you guys can go out here and create the momentum that you're looking for, right? And so do me a favor real quick, right? Type in one in the chat box if you guys are on this call and you know you really want to take full advantage of this opportunity, right? You really want to, you know, maximize um, you know, your success here. And for, for, you know, just in advance, I got my little one, right? How many parents we got on this call? Um, you know, so she'll be wandering around doing her thing, right? But I'm completely locked in with every single one of you. Um, but, you know, first and foremost, before I get into this information, I definitely like to, you know, allow you guys to know a little bit about me, just so that you guys can, you know, build your belief system to understand that if somebody like me, right, can reach a level like chairman, Right, then every single one of you guys on this call can go out here and hit chairman and way beyond chairman. You know, I've been involved with this platform now for almost five years, right? Since 2017 of August, I've been involved with the academy. Now, when I first got involved with this, guys, it was nothing like the way it is today, right? There wasn't as much, you know, success story. There wasn't as much evidence, right? There wasn't the same type of systems. The leadership wasn't where it is, right? The platform, the content, the information, right? The services, they weren't where they are, right? I remember when I got involved and there was, you know, barely any products, you know, there was less than 60, 60 educators, right? There was less than 60 hours a week of live education to now the platform being, you know, 2000 hours a month, right? For you having 16 different strategies and weapons on how you can go out there, Eva, get down, right? That you guys can go ahead and be successful. And so guys, you know, um, I'm 25 years old out here in Sacramento, California, you know, chairman 10 going on chairman 25, right? Have multiple chairmen within my, in my organization um, over the last couple of years, right? And so guys, you know, um, when I first got involved with this, I was not, you know, 
as gifted as, as a trainer and a, and a speaker, right? I wasn't as, you know, in informational or educated on the trading aspect of the opportunity, right? This was all new to me. Entrepreneurship was completely new to me, right? Nobody in my family even took the initiative or even had the confidence or the courage in themselves to get outside of what the vast majority of people were doing, right? Working a nine to five every single day right? Working a nine to five every single day, there was no evidence that this would work for me. But because I believed in myself, right? Because I believed in myself, I was able to use this vehicle for what it was and be able to go out here and start to create the success that I want. And so guys, that's one thing that I want to be talking to you guys about tonight, right? Is how not only to believe, right? But how to believe in yourself and what belief actually is, right? What belief actually is. So if you guys are not taking notes, right, let's go ahead and we're going to get that thing in. Um, if you can make me host, I have my, my iPad over here as well. Let me, let me go ahead and if you can add the other Kiani as a co-host. Okay, perfect. You are an our host. <laughs> okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, let me go ahead and co-host. I'm gonna really go into detail with you guys um, today. Type of one in the chat box if y'all really want the sauce, right? Um, this is a, a very intimate call. So I definitely wanna give you guys all the sauce. And excuse, excuse the little one back here, yo. Excuse the little one. We gonna make this thing happen. All right, cool. All right, so first and foremost, first and foremost, family, um, write down the word, you know, belief, right? Belief. Now, obviously, every single one of you guys have believed in yourself enough at this point to even have gotten involved with this platform, right? So that's a step. You already took that leap. Most people see the information. They don't ever, they don't ever get involved, right? They don't, they think it's a scam, right? They, they're skeptical, right? They don't believe that this can work. But the reality is, it's not a question of whether or not what we do is working or can it work for anybody? It's more of a question of, do you believe that you have what it takes to allow this to work for you, right? That's the main question. Snap time. So that's the main question. Do you believe in yourself enough that this can work for you the same way it's working for the John Guamans, the Blas Posenics, right? The Elias Montillas, the Jason Browns, the Alex Morins, the David and Monitiers, the Bryce Thompsons. Do you believe that this can work for you the same way it can work for them? Because if they have the same products, right? They have the same education. They have the same mentorship and resources, right? They're created from the same source as you. What is the difference between you and them? You being able to see yourself having the success that you desire with this platform, right guys? And so what I wanna do real quick is, right, in the word believe, right? We're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna share my, my iPad right here. Yo, I apologize. Eva, come here. Come here. Come here. I apologize, guys. It's her nap time. It's okay. Relax. Relax. You were not just being like this. <laughs> Super dad. Literally, y'all. Look, this happens. This happens from time to time. One second. One second. Hey. Be a good girl, all right? Be a good girl, all right? Be a good girl. My apologies. She's not in the best mood because she went to the dentist office earlier today, right? So she already, she got from the dentist and she was tight. The trust is not there right now, you know what I mean? So we making this thing happen. Um, Eva, you see all these people? See all these people? They're watching you. Look at, they're saying hi. Look, you don't want to watch them. You don't want them to see you crying, right? You want to see them, you being courageous. 
Hey, right? hey, princess, how are you? Hey, my beautiful. Hey, okay. <laughs> All right, family. All right, so I appreciate you guys. All right, so a few things, right? In the word belief, it actually stands for, right, loved by God, right? Loved by God, the word belief, look it up, right? So guys, when you are believing, not in just in what you're doing, but when you're believing in yourself, right? You're believe, you, you, you understand that, you know, God loves you and he's given you everything that you need, right? To be able to go out here and be successful with the opportunity, right? Guys, I want you to understand this is just a vehicle, right? When I understood that success wasn't about what I can just learn, how hard I can go out here and work, how much grind, how much grit, how much ambition, I had, when I realized that's not all success was, that was only 10% of it, you know what I started to do? I started to study what belief actually was. What was this spiritual side of success that nobody told me about, right? Because guys, on my entire journey, you know, I'm in the trenches. I'm doing the calls, I'm doing the presentations, right? Since P150, I was in the field, right? I was exposing people, walking up to people in a suit as a P150, right? Talking about trading, talking about this education, this platform, right? From a little bit of results that I was getting on swipe trades right? P-150, some of us have, you know, proximity, what, P-1000s, 2000s, chairman, P-5s, right? Guys, I was a P-150 believing that this was going to work at a chairman level, right? And, you know, what's crazy, what's crazy about it all is that when there was no evidence, right, when there was no evidence that this was going to work, I still believe that it was going to work. Right? Most people are doubting whether or not this is going to work. And so it's not working for you. Right? But when you understand that, all you need to learn how to do is control your mind. Right? Control your mind, control your will. Right? Your willingness to be persistent, be determined. Right? Show up, put in the work. Right. Do exactly what your coaches and your mentors are telling you to do every single day. Right. You have the willpower to do it. See, guys, I want you to write down the word free will. Right. Because we're going to talk. We're talking a little bit about belief. Right, guys. You understand that every single one of you on this call. Right. Including me. We have full control over the reality that we are currently living in. Right. You understand that? You understand that God is not. You know, whether you believe in God or you believe in the universe, right? In the word universe, right? That stands for one word, one word, one God, right? One God, universe is one God, right? That's what that word means. So whatever you believe in, right? You, you guys understand that you have full control. You have willpower to be able to go out here and create what you want, right? You understand that? Some people are blaming everything outside of them. People are blaming their leadership. People are blaming the economy. People are blaming right, COVID. People are blaming all these different reasons why, you know, we didn't wake up this morning enthused, motivated, determined to work on our goals, to work on our dreams. We have the free will. God's not gonna do it for us, right? We gotta go out here and actually put in the work, right? That's will. And then now you got to learn how to control your emotions. So let me teach you guys something real quick, right? Your emotions are something that you don't ever want to detach from, but it's something that you want to learn how to manage, right? Because what our emotions can do, our emotions are created by the words that we're using and the thoughts that we're having over any particular situation that we're going through, right? And what our emotions do, they paralyze, right? They paralyze us from going out there and participating in the rescue and participating in our goals, right? Type of one in the chat box, if you ever had a hard day and because you had a hard day or you had a hard, you know, day before you woke up and you weren't necessarily enthused to put in the work, right? You knew exactly what you had to do that day. You had a routine, right? You didn't follow your routine. You didn't follow your daily methods of operation, right? Because of your emotions, you just were having a hard time. You didn't necessarily feel like doing it. See guys, that's what the enemy truly wants, right? And when I say the enemy, anything that is in the opposite 
the, with the opposite energy working in your favor, right? That's the enemy to me, to me. Anything negative, right? My faith and my belief is in good. Good things happen to me. Me accomplishing my goals, good connections, good people, good energy, right? All of that is good. Now, anything that is against that, negative conversations, negative people, right? Negative emotions, negative thoughts, negative words, that is the enemy, right? And so what the enemy really wants is your mind to control your emotions to paralyze your willpower to go out here and create it for yourself right family and so i want you guys to be aware of that um as i'm talking about belief because like i said you know 10 percent of you guys going chairman is actually showing up and put it and doing the calls right you guys doing the calls and talking about your experience that's 10 percent of the journey right the 90 the the, the 90 percent of this journey is being able to control your mindset to have the consistency to have the discipline to do it every single day Right, do the activities, have the attitude. And so, you know, here, take this one, take this one, I'll take this one, you take this one, all right? So I want you guys to write down the word doubt, right? I'm teaching you guys how to believe, right? How to believe, but before I teach you how to believe, I gotta make you aware of what your belief system is being built upon, right? The foundation of what your belief is being built upon. See, I know some of you guys on this call, you want to get the secret sauce to go and chairman. Right, just like I did when I wasn't a chairman. But when I hit chairman and I realized that, you know, I had to figure out what David and Monitia was talking about, the spiritual success. I had to figure out what Bob Proctor was actually talking about. I had to figure out what Les Brown and Jim Rohn and all these people were actually talking about. And when I did family, you know what it did for me? It allowed me to believe in myself more and have more patience within my process, right? Have patience within your process, having patience in your leadership, having patience, you know, in your, your growth within the whole opportunity. And so doubt, that's a state of not being loved, right? So whenever you doubt what you're able to do, whatever you're doubting what you're able to do, you're basically telling yourself, that you are unqualified compared to every single person that you see doing it. I don't doubt that I can go chairman 100. Why? Because I've seen John Guaman do it. Right? I've seen John Guaman go from platinum 5,000 to chairman 100. When John Guaman signed me up, he was a platinum 5,000. He was a deranked platinum 5,000 at that. He was a platinum 2,000 when John Guaman signed me up. Now John Guam is a chairman of 100, right? I've seen that process. So why would I believe that I'm in the same vehicle, getting the same information, created from the same source? Why could he do it and I couldn't do it? Because of the time? Because of the pro process? Look, eventually it'll be my time. See, so there was at one point in time, guys, where chairman was a dream. You know what I did? I wrote it down. I said it was done. Put together a game plan, right? Followed that game plan, worked on my skills, worked on myself, worked on my skill sets until my, my level of value, my level of understanding, my wisdom and experience in this business was matching the level of success that I was desiring, that I was going for, right? See, guys, I'm going to be real. There's no reason why somebody that comes from Section 8 housing, food stamps, government assistance, five years ago, right? Single parent, I have a three-year-old daughter, 25 years old, just turned 25 years old. Guys, Nobody in my family had success. If I can do it, you can do it. That alone should be able to build all of your guys' belief on this call that you can do it. But you know one thing I couldn't do? I couldn't allow myself to allow all the reasons why I couldn't be successful. I couldn't let those be the reason why I couldn't be successful. 
right? My whys couldn't be my why nots. You know, guys, you really have to figure out, I'm, and I'm gonna I'm get into some more practical stuff for you guys. But at the end of the day, you gotta really find that, that courage, right? In yourself, right? To say, you know what? Maybe it's not working for me the way I want it to work right now. But let me be self accountable. Let me observe and analyze myself and begin to ask myself, okay, Keani, what kind of game plan do you have for your goals? Right? I got to stand in the mirror and, and have that conversation with myself and ask myself, hey, are you doing everything that you absolutely can do? Right? Or are you just making excuses for yourself? Right? You got all these calls lined up. You got your calendar set up, right? You got your DMO set up. You got your trading sessions that you're tuning in set up. Are you showing up? Got to be accountable, right? Are you just showing up one day, two day, three days? No, guys, look, I've been showing up every single day for the last four and a half, almost five years I've been involved with this opportunity. Good days, bad days was here. Let me tell you guys a quick story. My little one right here, right? When my daughter was first born, right? I'm, this, is, this is faith, right? This is faith, this is belief. The reason why I'm telling you guys is because I want you to understand that the same God, whether you believe in God or not, if you don't believe in some form of higher power, you're going to run out of fuel. You're going to run out of gas, right? And this, this not won't necessarily work out for you the way that you anticipate it to, right? One thing, I'm not here to like push my beliefs on anybody. This is not a religious thing, right? This is more so principle, right? Family, you got to understand that you're only capable of so much. And so for you to be able to believe that something outside of you, a higher source, a higher power has great plans for you if you persist through what you're going through on the opposite end, you get you end up getting what you want. Having this belief system, right, and being able to believe something outside of you guys, I'm here to tell you, I wouldn't be able to do this without God. When I was a platinum 5,000, I was D-ranked platinum 2,000. Let's show you guys how the power of like just having faith. My daughter was born in a situation, 21 years old at the time. My daughter had heart surgery for three months straight in her first three months of life. Right now, during this time, right during this time, I'm sitting bedside in a completely different city. We're in San Francisco, California. You know, that's an hour and a half from where I lived in Sacramento. They told us, look, you guys got to go out here to this university and they're going to be doing the procedure. Right. So we're now in one of the most expensive cities in the United States. Right. I'm 21 years old, making five thousand dollars a month, barely. Right. And. This whole time while watching my daughter struggle and fight for her life, going through all these different operations, you know what I was doing, guys? I had faith that everything was going to work out, right? I had faith that, look, I needed to make this thing happen. I got to believe in myself because who's going to take care of it? How, how am I going to be able to fend and take care of my child once we make it out of the situation? I wasn't concerned with the situation itself. I knew everything was going to be okay. So I was preparing for the outcome after the situation. You know what I'm doing the whole time? I'm on calls. I'm doing trainings. I'm closing calls, right? I'm launching new people. I'm signing people up, right? I'm, I'm practicing my strategy. Bedside, right? Bedside. Faith, believing everything was going to work out in my favor, right? Guys, it doesn't stop there. We had, I was launching Seattle Marketplace. Any of you guys know Cruiser and Leanne, right? Cruiser and Leanne. Matthew Cruz and Leanne Denoso signed up with me February 2018, right? Um, no, my bad, my bad, my bad. January 2019. January 2019, Cruz and Leanne, right, officially signed, like, started launching with the business. I flew from San Francisco airport to Seattle, Washington to go launch them in person. We were running home events. We were running uh, hotel events just to fly back home the next day to back to San Francisco 
bedside by my daughter, right back to an event four days later was taking place in Sacramento, California. I'm talking about faith, I'm talking about belief, right? Some of us are asking the wrong questions, whether or not it's going to work for you. I'm here to show you this can work for you, right? Regardless of what you're going through. Guys, we had an event in, in, with Alex Morton. I was a Platinum 5000 out in Sacramento, California. I'm still, I've, at this point, I've spent Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's in a Ronald McDonald house in San Francisco, California, right? Living basically in a basement, right? I drove, I took a train to Sacramento because my, my car was in the city. I took a train from Sacramento, from uh, San Francisco to Sacramento, ran the event, took an Uber back to my house, got my car, drove back after this 300 person event in Sacramento, drove back two hours to San Francisco. I was back, made it back there at 5 a.m. in the morning, right next to my daughter. Guess what follows suited after that? Chairman Tim. Right, Chairman and Tim. See, guys, this is the the reason why I'm telling you this is you gotta have epic courage. Right? You gotta have, you gotta have faith through uncertainty. Right? I want you guys to write this down, right? The more challenges that you're going through is evidence that a breakthrough is near. Right, guys, I literally laugh at this point when challenges happen to me. When things happen that I can't control, like I said, I can only control myself, my will, my emotions, my thoughts, my words. That's the only thing I can control. I can't control anything outside of me. When things happen out of my control, you know what I do? I laugh about the situation and I find a way to solve the problem if it's a problem that I can solve. And I move forward, right? Because I know that challenges are only happening because I can't expect to go here while my faith is still here, right? I can't look to go to the next level being the same person with the same habits, with the same thoughts and beliefs that I have right now, I can't expect to go here, right? The P5000 Kiani couldn't, looking back, I wanted chairman when I was a P5, but guys, when I was a chairman, when I hit chairman, I didn't even realize at that point how much responsibility it actually took to maintain the chairman. I wasn't ready. I thought I was, but I wasn't. I felt ready, but I wasn't, right? So the reason why I'm telling you this is guys, without all of the challenges that I had to go through, those challenges built my character, right? They built who I was. And the more, the more experience, the more things that I overcame, guys, it built my belief system to know, hey, look, you can get through this because you got through it in the past. So having uncertainty, right? Having faith through uncertainty. Now, I want, I want you guys to do these couple things, right? Just to kind of give you guys some practicality on ways that you can go out here. Get down. You guys can go out here and make it happen. First and foremost, you want to, right? Identify, identify your limiting beliefs. Figure out, right? Take out a sheet of paper, figure out, hey, look, what ideas or beliefs have I been passed down subconsciously, right? That I'm not good enough, right? That I don't speak well enough, that I'm not a leader, right? That I will never be a millionaire, right? That I will never live in that house, that I will never have that car, that I will, you know, never live this lifestyle that I imagine for myself, right? Whatever those limiting beliefs about you, and in your future, I want you to write those down. Identify them first. Then you know what you got to start doing? You got to start using your words, right? Guys, you understand that your brain ha has 80,000 80, voices or thoughts in a day. 80,000 in a day. How many of those thoughts 
are configured around positivity and, and the ways that you see yourself. Not where you're at and where you see yourself right now, but how you see yourself in the future, right? How many of those thoughts are we recycling that are positive? Because there's negative ones happening for sure, right? So you guys got to manage your limiting beliefs, identify what those are and begin to speak to yourself, get down, begin to speak the opposite yourself. And why is this important, guys? There's something called a reticular activating system, right? Basically, your subconscious mind is like your natural reactions, right? So when something happens, this will be your natural reaction to it. You have to reprogram it. Now, let me let me kind of put this into perspective. Has any anybody on this call ever like had a computer that was like corrupted and you had to clean the hard drive of that computer and reinstall a new software to get the computer to work? Family, this is how your brain works. Right, your brain is like a a a, a supercomputer. It's like an antenna that has direct connection, right, to heaven. And what's happened is there has been this faulty connection because the signals coming into your head, and then you got all of your beliefs that's been built here that are fighting off that that are like a virus to this to this message, right? To this information so what you got to do you have to get out the corrupt information and reinstall new software into your brain new beliefs new words new ideas and it's important that you you say it because can we all agree on this call that your voice you hear your voice more often than anybody else's right so what you're saying to yourself is what you end, what ends up being your truth. So what do I have to do? I need to start saying positive affirmations, right? I need to start listening to personal development. A couple of things that I listen to to help me reprogram my mind, because everything that I'm saying to you guys, I didn't know any of this stuff. My family didn't teach me any of this stuff, but it's working for me, right? The Magic of Believing by Claude Bristol right? Your wish is your command by Kevin Trudeau. Think and grow rich by Napoleon Hill. Right? Um, the strangest secret by Earl Nightingale. The Holy Bible. The greatest reference, in my opinion, of information in, in, in the, the, the oldest book in history for personal development, spiritual development, right? These are things that I listen to and I study on a continuous basis, why? Because getting, these, getting over these limiting beliefs isn't gonna happen in a day, right? It's a continuous progress. You're, you're backtracking and backdating, right? X amount of years that you've been creating these certain ideas or, or you know, in environments to take these on as your truth which you're not capable of. You see, I'm not even talking about trading. I'm not talking about building none of that. Why? That's just a vehicle, right? What I'm telling you right now, you can take this information and this mindset and you can be successful in anything, right? So identify your limiting beliefs. Number two, controlling your environments, controlling your environments. Like I told you earlier, the number one environment that you need to control is the your spiritual man, your spiritual woman, the environment that is happening inside of you, right? Too often we, we, we blame the environments outside of us as to why we are the way we are and why we do things the way we do them and why we are not reaching the goals that we wanna reach or why we don't feel we're in progression towards these goals. We blame everything outside of us. What I had to learn how to do is manage my inner space. And then I had to create an exterior space based on what I wanted for myself, right? Right here, I have a check, a bank to the universe, paid to the order of Keanu McGee for $5 million. The memo on there, I am so happy and grateful now that I have five M's liquid. I'm creating this environment, right? 
I have this one. I'm so happy and grateful now that I'm a chairman 25. I'm creating that environment. I have images all around my place. I have words of affirmation all around my house. Why? Because I'm creating that environment where I want to be, right? The moment you start saying it and writing it down and affirming it, it becomes your past. Which means what? It's inevitably gonna be your future. How many of you guys have ever wrote something down and then you go back and look at it and be like, dang, I remember I was going through there. We here now. We got through it. I was feeling that way and this is how I feel now. I wrote down that goal, I accomplished that goal. Dang, I'm over here now. Guys, think about it this way. I talk to my team about it all the time. Let me type a one in the chat box if you're on this call and go back a year, two years you would be proud of who you are and how far you came, right? Type of one in the chat box. See, I was thinking about it, family. You know, I have an old journal over there. And back in 2016, I had wrote a note to myself. And, you know, what's crazy is I'm not anywhere near where I want to be, just like I know every single one of you guys are not. But when I really look back, to my past and where I was and who I was prior to taking this serious, it really made me put things into perspective. And I'm like, dang, I'm literally, my present day reality was something that in my past, I wanted to be my future, right? There was a point I wasn't chairman. There was a point when there was nobody in my back office. There was a point where I was broke and in debt and, and struggling financially and living at home with my parents and having no car. And I wrote it back then, right? And so now looking back, that's my past, but my present day, I'm living in what will be considered my future from back then. So why wouldn't I believe that if I write it down and began to say it, and began to intentionally work in the direction towards my goals. The future that I want for myself from here to, to later, if I wrote it down and I started saying it and I started working on it, my future is gonna end up showing up just like it did before. Does that make sense? Type of one in the chat box, if that makes sense, right? See guys, when I understood things like this, like I said, it didn't change what I was doing, I was still showing the plan. I was still putting in the work as I'm doing today. But I did it with a different energy. Right? I did it with the knowing it was already done. So I was confident in what I was doing. I was confident in what I'm talking about. I believe in what I'm talking about. Why? Because I believe in myself, not in what I'm doing. I believe and I have faith in God and I believe in myself. I have faith in God. Guys, write this down. Ooh, yo, that's crazy. You know that God means time? You know that God is time? Time doesn't exist to God. You understand that? So if I have faith in time, faith in God, and believe in myself, then it's done. Because if I believe in myself, I'm taking the actions. Because faith comes by work, right? Faith is not saying it, faith is doing it, right? So controlling your environments, this is gonna be important. Guys, you're gonna have to go and separate yourself, right? You're gonna have to go and separate yourself. You're gonna have to isolate yourself. Why? Not because the people around you are necessarily bad, but because the way you think about yourself and the way you see yourself and the way you see your future right now is based upon the beliefs of the people that are in your environment and them believing that it's possible for them too. So there was a season in my life I had to separate to work on myself so that when I go back around these people, I knew the truth 
and I could be comfortable being in these environments with these people and just know, hey, they just don't know what I don't know. But for a season, I had to separate myself because they were affecting my belief system, right? So you got to control your environments. Third thing that you guys got to do, empower beliefs, right? You got to write down some empowering beliefs, right? I need every single one of you guys after this call, right, to take out a piece of paper and write down everything about yourself that is true, right? All empowering beliefs. I am powerful. I am capable, right? I am a chairman. I am a leader. I am consistent. I am disciplined, right? I have the ability to achieve what I desire, right? I can lead an organization of 500 people. I am somebody I am proud to be, right? I am adding value to humanity, right? You got to start writing down empowering beliefs that you believe about yourself and start to be able to identify with those things, right? Number four, transforming beliefs, right? Now, what I need you to do is on that piece of paper, on the opposite side, I need you to write down the real you right now, right? The things that you're aware about yourself that are holding you back, whether that is fears, whether that is doubts, right? Whether that is, whatever it is, character flaw, whatever it is, on that opposite side, I want you to write down all the cons that you're aware about on yourself. And then I want you to work on transforming those beliefs, right? The opposite of fear is faith. The opposite of believing is doubting, right? So you gotta transform those cons into those empowering pros, right? That's number one, we're talking about belief. Now, the last thing I want you guys to do is to take inventory. Take inventory on yourself. See, I'm gonna kind of end it with this, guys. You know, when I realized that, you know, this business, this space um, was a reflection of the way I can lead myself, right? Everything that I'm expecting everybody else to do, I gotta expect it from me first, right? So if I'm in a business of leadership, I got to be in the business of working on myself and becoming the greatest version of myself every single day, committing my life to growth and getting to the next level in my life, right? In all areas of my life. And once I was able to really do that, I was able to start writing my goals and just attacking my goals and just trusting the process. All right, family. So I'm gonna leave you guys with this, right? The triangle of belief. I was gonna use my iPad, but it died, All right? Yes. Triangle of belief. What words are you saying? Take inventory on your words. Everything that comes out of your mouth. I'm not saying, you know, be always just I understand things to happen negatively, but family, just take inventory on the words that you are allowing to come out of your mouth. You know, as I'm beginning to grow wiser and know more and know the power of our words and understand that, you know, God gave us the same ability that he had to be able to create. Eva, get out. I started to change and be aware of the words that I was using, right? Started using more faith-filled words, words where I was not praying and asking for, you know, making God aware of what I was going through and all of my problems but speaking life into what I was going through, changing my language, right? So the words I was using, now what you hear, right? Change what you're hearing, change what you're listening to, right? Two, images, what images? I need every single one of you guys to go on Amazon, right? Print, buy some frames, take, get some words, put together some images, go and print them out, frame them. Right? Yes, yeah, I see you. I see you. Right? Frame them and put them around your environments. And then thirdly, I want you guys to go and experience the things that you actually want. Right? Go drive that car. Go sit in that car. Go smell it. Right? Go smell that car. Go walk. Go, go. Yo, guys, these things that I do. I will go and I will book appointments to go see viewings on homes and properties 
that I want knowing dang well I ain't got the money yet. You know what I'm saying? I will go and I would view, I, I still show up to this day. I go dream building in different neighborhoods that are rich and wealthy. Why? I'm expanding my belief system. I'm expanding what is possible, right? I go and I sit in cars that are my dream cars. Why? Because I start to, it starts to make me a little bit uncomfortable with where, where what my, my circumstances are, right? I learned all of this stuff from David and Monitier. I learned all this stuff from John Guaman. And what do you think I do? I listen. Why? Because they have what I want. And I'm here to tell you guys, look, I everything I'm telling you right now, I had, I do and I've had to do. And it is something that is working for me. So I just encourage you to see, test it and see if it can work for you, right? And so family, you know, I'm just super grateful um, to be able to, you know, do this call and really just talk about, you know, belief. But guys, you know, to end it off, you're going to go through so much in entrepreneurship. You're going to go through so much in life. You're going to go through so much in business, right? But remember that, you know, nothing happens to you. Everything happens for you, right? And as long as you are managing your emotions, controlling your will, controlling your mind, controlling your words and the environments that you put yourselves in. Guys, success is only time and activity away for it to actually happen to you. So I'm going to go and pass it back um, to your guys' phenomenal leader, Miss Ristic, um, if I'm saying that correctly. Yeah, uh, um, Ristic, Ristic, Tiana. It's okay. It's okay. Thank you so much. Thank you for having you here. Uh, I know that you are so busy. You have uh, too many trainings for your team. And thank you so much for having you here. I'm so happy, grateful for that. And see you in Barcelona, yes? Yes. I'll Let's you go after. and come in, in the Serbia and the Belgrade. We're waiting for you. And where is, where is the kid? <laughs> No, she's not, she's not here. <laughs> <laughs> I see ya. I see ya. Idemo ekipa, svi čermen 50 za našeg drago gosta. Znači, meni je stvarno znači ovaj trening. Idemo svi čermen 50. Idemo svi u komentaru. Let's go, let's go, let's go. C5, let's go. <laughs> Thank you so much again. Thank you so much for having you here. See ya. Bye. Ciao, ciao ekipa. <laughs>